Hi, and welcome to a demonstration of Mobile Data Technologies premium data acquisition system, the Eagle Software. Eagle Software is an upgraded version of our Falcon and Hawk software platforms that are also available in other demonstration videos. This software was originally intended for recording data during cold tubing operations on cold tubing units, double fluid pumps, and twin nitrogen units. We have since uncovered several other applications which include production chemical mixing plants, in-house pump testing, radial drilling units, and much more. What I'd like to do is show you a quick demonstration on how easily you can record and create a job report that you can produce to a customer to prove everything that you've done on a well site. Let's begin with a demonstration. This is an overview of the Eagle software as it would be seen when you fire up the screen. First thing I'd like to show you is the graph modes. You can change graph modes easily by going over to the right here and depressing the G1 button. It then becomes a G2 which means there's two graphs and on each graph you can see up to six pieces of data. And you can toggle through and show one, two, three, four, five or six pieces of data on either graph. If I select that again I will hit the G2 plus graph mode and it's a larger graph on top which shows eight sensors and a smaller one on the bottom and if I hit it one more time I'll get three graphs where I can see four on each. One more time brings me back to the G1 and that is our different graph modes. So what I'd like to do now is select a company to do our work for. So that's the first step. I'm going to go select a company. You'll see there's a couple of companies here that I already have. I'm going to select Fluid Co. and know that I can add a new one or clone or edit anything on the fly. Going back to the main monitor now that I've selected my company, I can actually go ahead and hit the start button and start the recording. Once I hit start, I'm going to want to go over here and depress this uh, button up here, which will actually turn on the data on the graph. So this is just so that it, the data doesn't get too convoluted on the graph and I can pick and choose what I'd like to plot while still maintaining visuals on each sensor reading. On the left side, you're going to see the, the axis and uh, currently it's set to an auto scale. So what it's doing here is it's auto scaling based on the data that's coming in. What I can do is I can actually uh, customize that. Double clicking that uh, scale, I can set it to 3000 as a minimum and then I could go up to say 8000 as a maximum and I can set a custom scale if I'd like. So you'll see now it's 3000 on the bottom, 8000 on the top. What I can do then is um, if, if I want to go back to auto scale I can do that. Double click that and it goes to auto scale. Next what I can do is uh, during the job you're going to see that I have several sensors here. I've got this one called roadside lube oil temp and if I click that button it will bring up a window that shows me my entire list of sensors. And what I can do is actually go ahead and select a different sensor reading that I'd like to show. So you'll see here I could pick a flow rate, I could go and pick my roadside flow rate, hit close and then now I'm displaying that piece of information. So even though I can see 12 sensors at one time, I may have several more coming in the, in the background that I can still record um, at all times and, and then eventually plot on the job report. If I want to, I can zoom into the data by dragging my finger across the screen and simply letting go will zoom it right into that chunk of data that I zoomed across. Going up top, I can hit reset zoom and that will just bring me back to my normal view. If I'd like to do a job report, uh, I can do so and I can track events during my recording. All I have to do is go over to the track data button up here on the top and once I select that, I'm going to get a line on the screen, a white vertical line that I could place anywhere I'd like. So I can go ahead and move it and once I'm happy with uh, where I'd like to make that mark in time, I can go over to the left where it says add to log and I can click this add to log button to bring up a window where I can type in any type of description or event that I'd like to record. So in this case I'm just going to type test, hit save and close and then what's going to happen is once I hit show log up here on the top it's going to show me that chunk of data. It's also going to show me um, what I typed as well. So that's just a toggle where I can see it as an E1 for event 1 and then I can go over here and I can add another line if I want. So I'm going to hit you know the track data button put the line where I want it, add to log, and then go ahead and type in this one. I'm just going to type test 2. And then uh, we just toggle over the number here, hit number 2, test 2, hit save and close, and there we go. We have another event that we marked. 
and there are several events that you can go ahead and mark and and uh, just showing you here where you hit the show log button uh, several times you can see different views on it once I am uh, done my job I just go over here to the right hand side and I select end job and once I hit end job uh, that job is now saved to the job history tab where I can go over here and I can see my entire list of jobs that I've recorded. The most recent one will always be at the top. And all I have to do is go over to this tab on the right and hit view edit job. Once I load the job, you're going to see the first tab we're in is the job details tab. And this is where you can have a customized report. So you can put any labels you'd like in any of these fields and have a custom job detail report. So once you filled all that in, you would simply go to the graph. Now you've got a blank slate where you can go ahead and select which pieces of data you'd like to show in your report. So in this case, we're going to throw a pressure in here. We'll put the roadside pressure. And then on the right side, we'll probably put a flow. We'll select from our flow tab and we'll pick the curbside flow rate. Now let's do roadside. Okay, hit close. So I've got my roadside flow rate and my roadside pressure. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit create report. That's all you have to do. So this is now generating a report for us that we're going to be able to send off. Now there are other features over here on the right. You'll see you can add a custom graph if you'd like, uh, up to four of them. And that's just for extra reporting if you so choose to use that. So once this is done doing its generating, the close button will illuminate and you can hit that. And when I hit it, it takes me back to the job history page where I can go ahead and I can preview the report here. Once I preview the report, you'll see you can put your logo at the top. There's company details section, that's who you did the work for, then your job details section. Then we'll show you the summary. This is a summary of the points of data that you wanted to show in your report. So that's on the first page. The second page here is the job log, and what this shows is those job event marks that we dropped. So every, every marker that you drop will show up in a table here, and then we'll take every one of those pieces of data and we'll add it to a bigger graph where you can um, see a list and it shows you exactly what you did. So down here it says test one, test two. So once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and you hit close. And then we go to the save or email tab, and this is where we can actually send the report out. So we hit that tab, and now you're gonna see here, this is my company man, and then here's a couple of areas where we can pre-populate or, or put in email addresses for people at your company. So I hit email report, and there it goes. It's emailing the job report. Now you can rig down and head home. Now in the rare case that you don't have any um, cell access, because this is all working on a cell card, um, you can actually go to the save or email button and we can plug in a USB stick. So instead of emailing it, we're going to go ahead and we're going to save it to a USB. So you can also add the CSV report in that case um, where you can save it as a second attachment. That would work for email as well. So what we do is we go ahead and we plug in a USB stick and the save to USB light will illuminate. Once it does, you select save to USB and your job report is now saved on your USB thumb drive. And that concludes the demonstration of the Eagle software from Mobile Data Technologies. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and if you'd like more demonstrations on this or any other software products that we offer, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us at www.mobiledatatech.com.